right what is going on everybody gambit axiom here playing some pokemon sapphire we're gonna be starting episode one now guys you guys got to choose my starter in the last episode it is officially 12 40 eastern time so the so we're gonna go ahead and stop it we're gonna record this tonight get this out tomorrow afternoon evening uh whatever you want to call it, on wednesday which is today now um so yeah you guys had the choice pick my starter um, a lot of people were thinking Milotic. Slugma, of course, was the only one that wanted Macargo. He couldn't persuade anyone else to pick his or join his side. I think there was, um, maybe one other person, but, um, the overwhelming majority did say they wanted to see Gengar. Now, Gengar in Gen 3, not insane, but I'm super happy about this. And we already have a nickname for him. For him. He has been a, a long-time standing member in my community. Hopefully, we can kill this Puchiana. It'll be slow, but we can do it. It'll be it'll be slow, but we can do it. I may not have been in the play. I don't think he can hurt me because he's yeah, he doesn't have a dark time move, so actually we'll just lick him. Um, but it, anyway, the nickname of this Pokemon, we're gonna be calling it Chipamon. We're super happy about that. Uh he's been in our community for a long time. He carried us when in our soul link with gamer 20xx in black and white. That was a long time ago. Uh for anyone that who remembers that. Uh, but he was actually a Whimsicott, and he was very, very key for a lot of our fights. Now, since Gengar is a trade evolution, I do believe we'll get all of his moveset that we normally would, which is also going to be nice. Um, but again, because it's Gen 3, we're not going to have that physical special, physical special split that we would like. Uh, so we will, of course, have some interesting uh, interactions. We'll probably throw, him, throw some Psychic on Gengar. Um, maybe like... Uh, we, we could throw a Dream Eater, but I think that'll take too long. We might see if we can get, like, a Dark-type move on him. Um, could also be nice, but... The Stab, Ghost, and Poison-type moves are not gonna do much. I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. A gang of wild Pokemon, you saved me, thanks for that. Oh, hey, you get me? This is not the place to chat, so come by my lab later, okay? So, Gambit, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yes, and thanks for rescuing me. I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Gambit received the Gengar. While you're at it, why not give a nickname? We do have a great nickname for it. We're gonna name it Chipamon. I already said it. Oh, uh, we're so excited. Chipamon, of course, will be carrying us through another Nuzlocke adventure. Hype. That is hype. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a darn good trainer. My kid Brendan is out on Route 103 studying Pokemon. It might not be a bad idea for you to see, go see Brendan. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. He was kind of like sexist the first time I saw him. I'm not going to go visit him. Oh, don't be that way. You should go meet my kid. Ah, oh, you've, you've convinced me, Professor Birch. Great, Brendan should be happy too. Great, get Brendan to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Okay, so Brendan's going to teach me how to be a trainer. Listen, I don't need to be a trainer. I need to be a, a wait hold on if he teaches me how to be a trainer is that because he wants me to train him thinking deep thoughts so we okay we don't actually have any pokeballs yet so that's good we can't lose we actually will get to see some encounters here yeah okay cool and agron that would be little tough to catch we do have hypnosis and lick so could be plausible does he have anything that can hurt me because that also oh i'm dumb actually that's i think he just has tackle and harden um but we have randomized abilities we also have an item okay so we got airlock and negates weather effects that's kind of cool um lacks incense very interesting and we're Hardy. And I'm trying to remember. I think I thought Hardy was. I'm thinking of Hasty. I know Hasty is up in speed minus defense. Um, what's Hardy? Hardy might be neutral. I don't think it is though. I feel like it's up in defense and like minus attack or something. Uh, but who knows? We're not gonna look that up. Um, I did want to see if Agron maybe has another move. Mud slap. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Cause that's a little scary if we do try to catch it later. In fact, that's all I care to see. Um, and I just, I saw, I witnessed earlier the speed ups. 
very, very quick. So, okay, so there's also Beldums in here, and that's very much catchable. Uh, level 2 does a lick kill. No, it does not. And it can't hurt me with takedown. This would actually be a very, very nice snag if uh, this was our encounter. I would be very, very pleased with that. I don't know who I would name it after. don't know anyone who particularly loves Metagross other than Carter. Um, sure, Hunter likes that one, too. Oh, we got a decent amount of experience as well. All right. So, I think uh, those may not be the most common in there, but I know that there's a, a, uh, a Beldum and an Agron. So that's good. Uh, we won't be able to see the route to the left until after we've uh, beaten Brendan and get our Pokédex, I believe. Do we not have a Pokédex yet? Or did he give it to us? No, we don't. Okay. So that, that could be nice as well. I believe he'll give me a potion right here just for listening to him rant for a few minutes. So, a variety of goods. Promotional item. Always good to get those promotional items. More useful than a Pokemon Center in some situations. Um, so, we're not... We're, we're specifically not going to uh, grab Pokeballs yet. I think we can, but we're not going to grab them yet because we can beat Brandon and just in case we have to. So, we right now, we can't hurt normal types. All we have is Lick as an offensive move. So that's also going to be that going to have to be something we can we think about uh, moving forward. We have to find a way to hurt normal type Pokemon soon. Now I know there's Granbulls up here. What else? Venusaur, another nice Mon, another Mon that shouldn't be able to do a lot to me. Let's try a lick in it. Got Growl. I think he's just got Growl and Tackle. Might have Vine Whip or Leech Seed, but I don't think. He'll have anything other than that. Vine Whip, okay. Of course, we quad resist, so that's nice. Again, something very, very manageable to catch. Does have tackle. Um, would allow us to hit normal type Pokemon, which would be nice. So, not, not some bad options. I think we'll definitely go see if we can snag a Beldum first, and if not, we'll go north to this route again. Um, we're going to have to actually be careful, because we're going to get some levels. Yeah, there's no more items here. Okay, so it's this one and that one that live on Route 103. Hey, it's Gambit! Oh yeah, Dad gave you a Pokemon? Since we're here, how about a little battle? I'll teach you what being a trainer is about. So that you can train me later. I get you, Brendan. I understand. You know that you just want to make me a good trainer so that I can train you, train everyone else. I understand. Okay, so he's got the Milotic. That's a little, um, unnerving. Now we're gonna see how much. The okay, that's a good paralyzed first turn. Very nice. He for some reason has static. That's cool. <laughs> um, we could go for a little bit of spite play if we need to. It looks like we're getting really nice paralysis luck. So hopefully we won't have to. Oh gosh, the water gun came out. Oh, not that bad. Okay, okay. Man, we are schmoving on people then, because I was about to say this is a quick one two. Nothing really to worry about. Now, one thing I haven't noticed is I haven't been timing myself. Oh, there it is. I do see a timer now. I'm going to move my phone over here so I can actually get a rough estimate. Uh, okay. I know roughly how long, what time I need to stop at, so that's good. We're getting two levels. Okay, this could be dangerous for trying to catch something, but we only have 17 attack. And again, Lick is like base 20 or 30. Very, very weak move, so we should be good. I think I get it. I think I know why my dad has his eye out for you. Hold on now. What does your dad have his eye on me for? I'm just a 10-year-old girl. Look, your Pokemon already likes you, even though you just got it. Can't, but I get the feeling that you could befriend any Pokemon with ease. We should head back to the lab. <laughs> I am I am quite friendly. I, I do get that a lot. Alright, okay, um... I don't really have a preference on which route so far. It, the, the Venusaurs would be nice. I can't really do anything about the Grand Bull. He might have Bite, which could be scary. Um, and we still obviously have a problem of normal types. Now, the real question is... After we attempt a catch on a route, if we don't get it and it doesn't have a, a move that can hit normal types, the question then becomes... 
Do I need to train my Gengar until it gets a non-normal type move to be safe? Do we just go? And I think we'll just go because I think we'll probably be okay. Oh, well, Bre Brendan's been helping me with my research for a long time. Brendan has an extensive history as a trainer already. I like talking about my son in the third person. Yeah, Gabbard, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. <laughs> Thank you. I'm honored. Uh, the Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid Brandon goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records his dad in the Pokedex, why Brandon looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Oh, so you got a Pokedex too. Well then here, I'll give you this. And there's the Pokeballs. Okay. So I couldn't remember if we got Pokeballs that early, but... You know, it's much... Or, you know, it's more fun to have a whole bunch of Pokemon. I'm gonna explore all over the place to find different Pokemon. If I find any cool Pokemon, you bet I'll try to get them with Pokeballs. That's a uh, good conversation we just had there, Brendan. Now, <laughs> uh, the real question is, can I get these running boots, running shoes? Gambit, Gambit, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from Professor Birch, how nice. You're your father's child, all right. You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. Oh! I don't know why she became Mickey Mouse all of a sudden. Damn it, those shoes came with instructions. Yeah, I don't need instructions, Mom. I've, I've ran before. I'm sure I'll be okay. Oh, man. Man, overprotective moms and Pokemon. Name a more iconic duo. All right, now we can run. Although we can also speed run. Jeez. Didn't mean to do that. All right, what do we got? This is our encounter. Beldum. Very, very nice. That was my preference. He can't touch me. We do have some good opportunities here. I don't think Lick will kill it because it's my attack. Okay. But we can only get in one. Um, we do, however, get to use Hypnosis. Okay, nice. F fell asleep first. First try. We do also, however, only get five chances of catching this, so... Um, it's probably unlikely. I'm gonna throw them all because I do believe I can buy balls at the Mart. And if I can't, this is going to be real rough. I, if I can't, honestly, the Venusaur is my only other thing I can probably catch right now safely. And that's going to use probably more than five balls as well. Now, let's see. I could potentially spite it and see if I can get it down to struggle. And do a little bit more. I don't know if struggle hits through or not. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just put it back to sleep. We'll see what we can do in the yellow. It's already pretty close to its maximum catch rate potential. So we got three chances. Come on, Beldum. Get in your home. You know you want to go on this crazy adventure with Chippamon and Gambit? Shoot, it was so close, too. But the wild Beldum, he's fast asleep because he's dreaming. And the dream's so sweet and succulent that he realizes he must wake up and go on to this journey with Gambit and Chippamon. Because at the end of the day, Beldum knows that he would have so much fun on this trip with Gambit and Chippamon. That he could evolve into a mighty Metagross of one day. Never mind, this album is just not meant to be. Um, I don't know. There's just not much I can do. That was my last ball, so we're not gonna get the Beldum. It's very unfortunate. I'm like moderately upset about that, but we'll be okay. We'll be a okay. Now, <sighs> yeah, that wouldn't have been much. Any any more of an easier catch, and it has mud slap, so I'm scared of it. So, um, you know, now our plan: we buy as many Pokeballs as possible. We go north and we see what we can find. Uh, if it's a Grand Bowl, we might not be able to even try. We might have to just go to the next route and see. Let me want real quick Route 101. Okay. Um, missing a few. I don't need PP. We'll just go grab again. So we'll go grab some uh, some Pokeballs. I think we can buy a little over 10, but we'll probably just buy the 10. Well, maybe not. How many potions do I have? Do I have two? Hold on, no, no, no. Doesn't tell me yet, okay. I mean, we'll buy the 16. Um, just because I think we need to catch something here. I don't want to go home empty-handed, you know. And we do have a couple potions. We got the one at the, I think, one at the, one at home. 103. What's this right over here? Do we chance it first? No, nah, we'll go 103. Well... Here's the thing. We already know there's a normal type up there. 
I don't know what's here, which means there's technically a higher chance that there's not a normal type in this route, right? Crabby. Okay. He ended one of my locks, and I'm pretty upset about it, but... You know, we could add him to the team. <laughs> now he should have high enough defense so this lick doesn't do much. Yeah, okay, good. Very nice. And we got a paralysis. Not bad. I would have definitely preferred to put him to sleep, but that's no problem at all. Throw the premier ball. Uh, premier ball for premier Pokemon. That's what I always say. And there you go. Now, man, we can name this after someone in the community. Or I've kind of already got a pretty good crab name. Now, there's two options. We can either name him Mr. Krabs or Big Meaty Claws. If Big Meaty Claws fits, we're naming him Big Meaty Claws. But I don't think it does. It doesn't. So we'll just name him Mr. Krabs. Big Meaty Claws. But we definitely, we definitely want to have Big Meaty Claws in mind. Mr. Crab. Is it Crabs with a Z? Mr. Crabs. It is with a with the Z. <laughs> is it Mr. Crabs just plural? Uh, whoops. I I'll, I'll rename him when I can. I think it's in um, Lily Cove. Lily Cove, a name in, of a of a town. In this game. <laughs> All right. So first things first. Before we forget. Um, before we forget, dude, we have this lax incense for whatever reason on there. Um, clear your body. Okay. Prevents ability reduction. Timid. Timid is up in speed minus attack. Now, it's not ideal. That's okay. And he's only got bubble. Okay. Now, hmm. Do we train him first before we go up here? I'll see if I can get him, like, to level level 5. Let's see if he gets a new move, maybe. Um, and he should be able to take... The Aggron, he can absolutely take. And we'll just speed up here, because I... I won't speed through the first battle just to see if he is, like, that much of a threat. Headbutt could be dangerous. Okay, no, we're good. Uh, we may have to heal after every other battle, maybe? Let's see how much we get here. Oh, that's so close. Um, Beldum wouldn't be too bad either. I might switch it if it's Beldum, though, just because I know Gengar won't take any damage. Yeah, that would be the safe play. Now, I think there's a chance I learned something new at 5, which would be nice. If I don't, I'll just go ahead and go north. Um, we'll see what we can do. Man, I feel like I'm absolutely running out of water here, but... I'm just talking so much. Not even used to it yet. Um, but yeah, well, if, uh, if Krabby gets to do move, that'd be great. Um, but if not, we're gonna go north. We'll see if we can get a Venusaur. Maybe we can get that third Pokemon that's up there. And you got Leer. Not, th not the best. Not the move I was hoping he might get. I was hoping he might get, like... I don't know what I was hoping. Like a... Not double slap, because there's no way he learns it, but... Fury? Not Fury Swipes, but maybe Fury Attack. Maybe Scratch. Scratch would've been nice. I think, I think Krabby used to learn Scratch back in the day. Tackle? I would've been fine with Tackle. Any normal type move. That's physical. Any physical move. Okay. So this is going to be our Route 103 encounter. This will also take away... Ooh! That's clean! That's clean! Okay. Now, it's going to be kind of tricky to catch. <laughs> but it definitely doesn't have... It definitely doesn't have a... A water-type move yet. Okay. But how do I want to do this? I'm afraid to lick it. But also... Oh man, it should, it should definitely live... A lick. Or dare go for it? I'll go, I'll go for one lick. I, I think it survives one lick. Oh, it absolutely does, dude. We can go one more here. All right, perfect. That's about 
that's about the perfect HP it could be. I have 16 tries. Surely with hypnosis, I can catch this totodile. And again, this is already someone I know he's going to be happy, but it's going to be Hyujin's. Um, this is one of his favorite Pokemon. So now I think I think we have a request though that I think he only wants it to be called Dilujin as a United Gamer slash his name mix. So we'll name it Dilujin. Which is a pretty clean name, too. Don't get me wrong, we're not hitting this hypnosis for whatever reason. What is this, 50 accuracy in this game? No. It was still 70. Right? It was 60. Okay. Did they bump it to 70 in Gen, Gen 4 and then bump it back down? There we go. I remember at one point hypnosis moved to 60 and that was like a devastating moment because it used to be like 70 and I remember I used it when it was 70 I was like this is a pretty good move 70% accuracy hits like most of the time and then as soon as it moved to 60 I never hit again let's go two balls easy not even close Despite the smallness of its body, Totodile's jaws are very powerful. While the Pokemon may think it is just playfully nipping, its bite has enough power to cause serious injury. Oh, let's go. That's so nice. Dilugin, welcome to the team. If if any of these get named and people tell me to rename them, don't worry. I can go. I, th I think it's Lily Cove. We can go to Lily Cove City. We can get them renamed when we get there. But for now, it's Dilugin. Mixed between Dylan and Hyujin. Welcome to the team. Now let's see what his ability is, because I'm hype about that. Dude, that is a nice... He's got an item, too. What a what a snag. Timid again. Right? Isn't that what... Why are they both timid? So that's, again, um, up in speed minus attack. Not the greatest. He's got a black belt. It's kind of clean, too. All right, so... He's level three. I'm going to get him at least to maybe six or seven. I think... The Mr. Crab, sorry. Probably not going to get used as much as you would like. We're going to be rocking this Dilugin, this Feraligator soon. And this will be fun, too, because I haven't used... I really like... I really like... Um, Totodile is one of my favorite Pokemons in Gen 2. Like, in, in the Gold and Silver games. With the, those mechanics. And I'm going to get to use them now in Gen 3. Probably for the first time ever, which is hype. Um, but then also with that random ability, which I did not check... So we'll have to go back and check that in a second, too. Um, let's real quick see if we can find it. Vo let's go. And I believe the way I have it, it won't change. It will hold its um its ability through its evolution stage. So I think we are going to have it for Alligator with Vault Absorb, which is insane. Unless I did set it to change, in which case we won't. But But still, it's very nice. For now, it's very nice. Double checking my record times, making sure I don't go over. I'm going to do my best to keep these around 35 minutes. Um, obviously, there will be a couple times where I'm sure we'll go 5 minutes over. Or, you know, 10 minutes over when I'm really not paying attention. But hopefully, again, hopefully we can stick to this system as best as possible. Like, you guys also know that I, I don't like to uh, leave leave an episode without making much progress. I feel like we've already made pretty good progress. We've caught two Pokemon. We got to pick our Pokemon. You know, we're not going to... We'll, we'll make it to Petalburg at some point. Can I just get this encounter, please? We'll make it to Petalburg at some point, and that'll be nice. We'll probably get the Wally encounter done in this episode, too. Um, there were Stantlers in here. Interesting. I cannot hit you. Uh, we need to make sure we're very careful here. Okay, it didn't do too much. We outsped this time, which means we're on speed ties. Which means we'll trade. We're just gonna switch, because I don't wanna- I don't- I cannot chance losing Dilution this early. I know we already have two water types, so it's like, if I lose one, we'll just use the other. Um... But I do not want to be in that position where I have to force, like, you know, forcefully choose which one. Nice. Not bad stats either.
better speed up a little bit, but yeah, hopefully we make a good amount of progress in this one. Again, I, I don't like, you know, not making enough progress in each video, so hopefully we can, again, at least get something done here. I If I get the, if I get the Legion, like, five, man, I don't want to go in yet, because... I think I think there's a couple level five early Pokemons that we're gonna have to fight. R uh, right to the left, or directly to the left of this uh, this town. So I kind of want this Toted out this Dilution to be a little bit battle ready, which obviously means um, you know being around level seven probably. I'll, I'll probably call it a level seven. We'll speed up here. Let's see if we can speed up. And if I had a Water type move, that make these f fighting aggrons all that all that quicker took a good amount of ch I took a good chunk of damage that first hit I think he used mud slap but I need to watch and make sure here it is okay no I think he got a crit maybe the dilution level five no water gun yet okay no problem mr. crab got mr. crab's got some pretty pretty bonkers attack actually Um, but how's everyone doing, guys? It's kind of late. You're probably only watching this if you uh, actually somewhat enjoyed it so far. So, you know, how's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having a great Wednesday. Normally, I you know start up with this, but I was so excited to to you know pick Chipamon that I just couldn't resist. No, but I hope everyone's having a good Wednesday. I know for me, it's probably uh, being a pretty slow day. Probably, probably playing some dotes with my homies right now. That's fun. Um, let's see. Doesn't affect foe Chipamon. Speldums are really nice for experience, too, because they give, like, 60 a piece. Nope, 40. Mm, close. Totally close. I think whenever Totodile gets Water Gun, I think that's when I'll feel good. Um, Chipamon's pretty strong as well. Um, but again, okay, I think I fight this pretty stand steadily at le four levels up this time. I think last time I fought it was level two and I was level three, so. Yeah, we're winning all these speed ties now. Water gun? Rage. Oh, that's right. Um, We'll still go in. I, we got Krabby with a water type move if we really need it. You know, total out was a second mon at least, so we should be okay. I am. Not going to lead with him though. I, I think I have to lead with Chipamon. There's a lot of stuff that could scare me for sure. Um, you know, like an Ursa Ring would be terrifying right now because I really don't have an answer for normal types. Like final stage normal types right now. Final stage normal types do kind of do be dirty. Route one or two. So we already caught one on that route. So we'll see if we can make it to Petalburg unharmed. If you have Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. <laughs> Oh yeah, is that right, Juggler Stacy? What's he doing out here, Pseudo? What else he? Uh... If if Hyujin, if Delujin had a water gun here, it'd be no problem. And I'm most likely still fine. Rock throws could do a little bit, yeah. But it's like Lick doesn't do much. He's got stab rock throw. He's mimicking now, licking me as well. Oh not yet. He just learned it. Got it. Uh, that could be scary, too. I don't think he'll do more with Lick than he is with Rock Throw right now, so I think I'm good to just outlast this. But there's just... There's a number of things that could give me a lot of problems right now, and I don't... I don't like risking that when I already do love my team. Like, we have a Gengar. We have a, a Totodile, which is going to be a Feraligator along the way. Like, those are two really good mons to get early. Or just to get in general, but to, the fact that I got them early, you know, is really nice. So let's see. E. This. Uh, I can technically avoid this trainer. That's a good experience. I have such high special attack. If I can just get any special move. The grass goes up to my new forever. Thank you. Yeah, what a kids these days, am I right? Alright, we're gonna avoid some of these trainers for now.
I do want to come back and fight them for sure, but I also want to make sure I get some good progress here. And I don't want to be losing. Oi! I didn't meant to go around. I'm gonna keep winning and aim to be the best trainer. Help me further my career. No, if I do that, then I lose. Not a good plan, preschooler Liliana. Some good nicknames. Venusaur, okay. That's fine. That's a good matchup for, for Chipamon. Should not be a problem. Paralyzed? Easy. Not a problem. Hopefully, their next Pokemon or two will be something I can send out Totodile to and get some easy experience. If not, not the end of the world. Chipamon's getting some great stuff. Shup it. So I can give I can give a switch here. Um, I definitely can't hit him with the Totodile, but uh, it should be a low enough level that I'm not too concerned. We'll see. I. I think it has like faint attack as its only move. Knockoff, which is terrible in this game. Nice. And uh, Gen 6, absolutely phenomenal. Base 60, doubles if you have an item. In this game, base 20, doubles if you have an item. <laughs> okay, nice. Now, Bennett, Bennett would be a good ghost type in this gen because ghost types are physical. Or ghost, ghost moves are, are physical. I'm gonna pee pee up. A lot of jokes I can make about that, but we're not going to. <laughs> At least not right now. Oh, we cannot do anything to a Gramble with Chippewan, so. Petalburg City! We made it, guys! We made it to Petalburg! We didn't. We haven't lost yet! Well, this is good news! Bum bum bum! Ba da boo! Doo doo boo! Boo doo doo doo! Hey, Dad! Hmm? Well, if it isn't Gambit, so you're all finished moving in. I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon, Chipamon. Hmm, then I guess you're going to be a come a, become a trainer like me, Gambit. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Yeah, see, he says that, but then he dodges all my requests to battle him, so... Uh, I... i like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm? Uh, you, oh, right. You're Wally, right? I'm gonna stay with my relatives in Verdan Vernon Turf Town. I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I've never caught a Pokemon before, I don't know how. Mm, I see. Gambit, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally here, I'll owe you my precious level 7 Zigzagoon. Wally received his Zigzagoon. Oh wow, a Pokemon! I'll give you a Pokeball, too. Go for it. Wally received a Pokeball. Oh, well, gee Willaker, thank you. Gambit, would you really come with me? He is so nervous around girls. Oh, Gambit, Pokemon will hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Hello? Right, let's see what Wally gets. I actually think whatever this is, he keeps it throughout on his team, and it's a Flareon. Unfortunate pickup, Wally. Would have been great. Uh, why did you get a Glalie? I, don't, I didn't know that was randomized, too. Unfortunately, he picks up a Flareon on Gen 3 right before Flareon becomes useful. Um, dude, I don't even know how he's going to catch this. He only, he only gets one Pokeball, right? Ah. Uh. He's really got to weaken this one down. Yeah, you throw a ball out, right? Okay, I'll give it my best. So how is this man? He's got one potion, one ball. He doesn't stand a chance. Wally, I hate to say it, but you might be going to Verdant Turf Town without a friend. No. No. But he caught it? What? What? It's rigged. Okay. I did it. It's my it's my Pokemon. Give it. Thank you. Let's go back to the gym. So did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Glalie back, you normal type gym leader. Give it. Thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll be taking real good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Gambit. 
now. Gambit, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. Roxanne, something about red lights. After her, go on to the other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them, understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day, Gambit, but that'll be... That'll be so long down. That's only after you go way stronger. <laughs> that'll like never happen. Oh, Dad, I can't wait to slaughter your Pokemon. What are we at now? We're pretty darn close to 35 minutes. I wanted to fight these two trainers. Let's do one victory battle. One victory battle, and then we'll sign off here. Um, and I don't know why this is probably a terrible idea, because this youngster is probably going to... Juggler Max is probably about to give it to me. But I don't want... I wanted to fight one more thing. Is this Solrock? It's fine. Got a little bit of stab, super effective lick. I bet he's probably got confusion, probably can one-shot me. He didn't, though, so it's okay. Uh, what a time to be alive. We did get a we did get a good amount done. I think I called it earlier. It's, and a Banette, wow. I want, I, again, I want to switch train this, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to just because of how high his attack is, but he's only level three. I should have gone for it. Um, We did get about what I wanted to get done today. Maybe we'll fight that last trainer too. We'll fight this last trainer. That'll be pretty darn close to 35. Chip him on, learn mean look. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but I'll take it. I called you because I thought I could beat you. Guess I gave him, like, way too of a... sure voice. Um, Chip Mon's level 13, man. He's kind of slaying it out here. Let's fight this one bug trainer down here. Oh, that have been terrifying if we couldn't escape. Alright. Okay, Snorlax. That's... This was a bad idea. <laughs> this was a really bad idea. <laughs> this is not the play. Um, oh gosh, that was a critical hit. I mean, my rage is at least building and he's not doing a lot, so that's probably what we're banking on right here, but... Do we crit? Is that what the new mechanic of rage rage in Gen 3? Is that is that how rage works? Okay, I think we're just getting lucky. Um... Yeah, dude, not strong normal types wall me, right? Like, that's what I was a little concerned. Oh, but Dilugent's killing it now with the levels. Save light. Oh, so immediately into a mon I can't touch. Cool. Okay, good. I was like, we can hit this with Lick, right? Like, I don't know why my brain just said, oh, he's Ghost Dark. I can't touch him. Because this was also the gen Save light doesn't have a weakness, but looks like we do hit him at least. Okay, so <laughs> could have been a little scary. That's okay. We 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 pull through. We take those. Um, let me get to a Pokemon Center. We're gonna wrap this thing up. But we did good. We made it to Petalburg City. We got Wally a Pokemon. We talked to our dad. We had a good time. But whoo! What an episode one. Not bad. Not bad at all, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, I do. I do very much hope that you would hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I forgot to say my normal stuff, it's been so long since I made a video. But if you do, I, if you show your appreciation guys, it means so much to me. Um, and as always, more than anything, I do hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope to catch you guys next time. Later!